Hello, student. There is this question that was being tested in the KCP for the year 2012. And there was a candidate who was trying to do this problem at home. And he or she came up, uh, uh, was faced by some difficulties. And therefore, he or she made a request so that he can be assisted. Well, this question has been explained through this channel that is for my class web. It was question number 39 and the question leads. The diagram below represents a metal solid made up of a ceradical bar fixed onto a cube. The ceradical bar is 20 centimeters long and has a diameter of 7 centimeters. Each side of the cube is 9 centimeters long. The surface of the solid was painted. What area in centimeters was painted? You are supposed to take pi to be 22 over 7. Well, this question was explained in Primary Mathematics Book 8. This one is on page um, 108 to 111. That is unit 6. And therefore, for reference, the candidate can use primary mathematics, that is the Jomo Kenyatta Foundation. In this case, you are told that this shape here is going to be painted. And to paint this surface means that all the visible parts, all the tangible parts will have to receive paints. And so, to do this problem, I am going to split this shape into two parts. There will be the section A, which will include the cube part. And if you look at this cube part, there is a circle at the top where the cylinder was sitting on. This circular part here will not receive any paint. There will be section B, which will now include the cylindrical part. Now, this cylindrical part here has a circle at the top, and there is also another circle at the bottom here, which will not receive any paint because it will be lying on top of that surface of the cube. So, in this case, I will be required or the candidate will be required to work out the total surface area of the cube and also the area of the cylindrical bar. I will begin with the total surface area of the cube. If you look at this cube here, it is made up of six surfaces. That is one, two, three on the other side, which is not seen, another one there, and there's also another one at the bottom and at the top. In total, there are six surfaces, each of which is a square of 9 centimeters by 9 centimeters. But only five of these squares are going to be complete because the top square here will be treated differently because it has got a circle which will have now to be removed when working out of that area. So, five of these are squares which are going to be complete, each with nine by nine. So, if we can be able to work out the area of one of these and then we multiply by five. And which are these, these five surfaces? I mean this one, this one here, another one on that edge, and another one on the other edge, and at the bottom, they are all five. That is one, two, three, four, five. So I should therefore take the area of one of these squares, which is nine times nine, and then I multiply by five. That will now give me 81 times five, which will now be 405 centimeters squared. When it comes now to the top square, which will now be 9 by 9, but then I'll have to extract the area of that circular part. 
And that is why we were taught to use 22 over 7 as pi because pi will now be used here. Remember, this circle here has a diameter of 7 centimeters. And to work out the area of a circle, we shall require a radius which we can obtain by dividing that 7 by 2 to get 3.5. And therefore, if we can be able to get the total area of that square, and then we subtract the area of the circle, which will now be 9 times 9, we subtract 22 over 7 times 3.5 times 3.5. That is pi r squared. The expression inside the bracket can be simplified here. If you take 7, you divide by 7, you get 1. 3.5, you divide by 7, you get 0 0.5. And therefore, whatever is inside the bracket is now 22 multiplied by 0 0.5 times 3.5. That is, 81, you subtract whatever is inside that bracket, which will now be 81 times that 8.5, which will now give us 42.5 centimeters squared. This area here is what is going to receive paint along here, excluding that circular part. So the cube will now give us total surface area of 405 centimeters squared. We add 42.5 centimeters squared to give us 447.5 centimeters squared. That is now going to be the area of the cube that is going to receive paint. Now, when we come now to the cylinder, if you look at this cylinder, there is a circle at the top, and there is the whole of this part here which is going to be curved, or that which is curved. And so, to get the area, or the surface area, of a cylinder, with only one circle, or that which is crossed at the top, we shall re be required to work out the area of that circular part, and this curved part here, which is going to be curved. And therefore, what we normally do is to get that circle, which is complete. And remember, it has a diameter of uh, 7 centimeters. And once we split this uh, curved part here, and then we straighten it, we are going to form a rectangular shape. This rectangular shape here has got a height of 20 centimeters here, which will now be the width of this uh, square. And it has got a length, a length which is equivalent to the circumference of that circle. And to get, therefore, this length here, we shall take 22, we multiply by the diameter of this, uh, of this circle here. That is 22 over 7, we multiply by 7, that is the circumference for that, uh, for that circle, which will now be equivalent now to the length of this rectangle, which is now 22, because you can simplify uh, 7 here by 7, you get 1, and by 7 there you get 1, so the length here will now be 22 centimeters. Therefore, if we can now be able to work out the area of this circle and the area of this um, rectangle, we shall now have been able to get the area which will now be painted on this cylindrical bar. Therefore, the area of this rectangle here will now be 20 multiplied by 22, that is length times width, which is 440 centimeters squared. For the circular part, the area of the circular part here, which will now be pi r squared, that is 22 over 7, we multiply by 3.5 times 3.5. If you look at this expression here, we had it sometimes back here. And so, all we have to do is now to simplify again there by 7, you get 1, and there you divide there by 7, you get 0. Five. So this bracket alone here, which is, which is the area of this circle here, is now what we have here, and it gave us that 8.5 centimeters squared. 
that is you get now 22 multiplied by 0 0.5 times 3.5 which will now be that 8.5 centimeters squared now we are almost through because so far we have been able to get the area of the circle which will receive some paint the area of this curved part of the cylinder which is uh, uh, 440 we have also been able to get the area of the cube that will receive some paint so to get the total surface of the solid that is going to be painted we shall therefore be required to take 447.5 we add 440 and then we add that 8.5 so if you add everything here you are going to get 926 centimeters squared that is going to be the total surface area of this ship that is going to receive paint and this choice was given uh, rather this answer was given as choice c which is 926 centimeters that is the way that question could have been approached and it has given the candidate a chance of remembering how to work out surface area of either cube or cuboid plus a cylinder note here i've said this cylinder which we have here we are going to deal with only one circle here because the top the bottom part will not receive any paint sometimes the candidate is likely to receive a question whereby the cylinder has got both edges closed in that case you will need to work out uh, the area of two circles plus the rectangular part otherwise for now this question was supposed to be done that way thank you very much and let us meet next time